Alrighty, I guess I'm back for another day of trying this out. Um, I ordered some other deoxid stuff to try to get rid of the corrosion that's on here, but I'm gonna try just some heat and solder and see if that helps uh, with restore these pads because they're having a bit of an issue right now. So I go ahead and get started on it. I got a slightly different tip on here today, so it's more of a bigger chisel tip just to kind of be able to get the solder braid in there to work its magic. Get some fresh solder braid. There's like a ton of oxidation on the pads, so see so, you know, if I can do anything to help get rid of it. Obviously, see how it looks under the microscope here. So yeah, there's like that hump of stuff right there. There's no really easy way to get it off there. And it's oxidized, so it's not melting or anything like that very easily, so. Get some more flux on there. Solder braid. See if I can get any solder on that. That one looks decent. Looks a little bit better. Uh, still needs some work though. And the only other option I mean, I could try using, um, I could try using, I don't know, see if the deoxid stuff works when I get it, if it kind of will break up those pads. Uh, I also ordered some uh, glass bristle brushes. Uh, for sanding uh, stainless steel. It's a set of like brass stainless steel, uh, acrylic and uh, fiberglass and use that to rough those up a little bit maybe. But I, I really need to get these pads to uh, to like a new state. I just gotta find the right combination of whatever to, to do that with. So I'm just gonna keep going at it here and we'll see how it goes. Uh, clean 
this up again. Get some of that flux off of there and put some new flux on it. I mean, there's enough solder there, enough pad. It's cleaned up and everything to be able to put the new caps on, so it's not too bad. Like from here, it looks all right. Let's see. Put it under here again. It's not too bad. Do that angle here. But that one could be slightly better. Might be able to get some of that with a knife. These pads were really horribly uh, corroded just from the electrolyte and the, and the capacitors. And I'll wash this whole thing uh, before I do it anyway, and before I recap it. Let's get any other remnants off of the board. All right, what do we got? Uh, and you can see a little bit of the, uh, right there, I scraped away a little bit of the solder mask, but that's all right, that's for the ground plane. And one interesting note for all these capacitors uh, is they look like they're just kind of maybe like pull up, pull down uh, kind of capacitors or just, uh, power smoothing, things like that, just because they don't even 
even though all of them were, uh, you know, were busted or falling off of here to begin with, the Sega CD was still working for the most part. Uh, quality or something like that, there might have been other interference or audio issues that I didn't notice or did notice, and my, my capture card's bad too, so it's hard to tell where the problem's coming from. But, um, so they're not like necessary capacitors, but they're there for filtering and smoothing and everything. Um, but they're also like not in line with a power source for chips or anything like that. It seems I think, uh, you know, these other capacitors are probably in line for that stuff. The surface mount ones for just some kind of filtering. So now let's see if I can retin those two pads there. A little bit better than they were before. I'll use the other flux for this. All right, that looks uh, looks a bit better there. As soon as I get that, about as good as I'm going to get that. So, guess I'll move on to one of the other ones. My other package got here. All right. This one, this pad here on this side is a little, it's just really messed up. Um, That side of the pad there is just really bad. So I'll see if I can scrape that up a bit. And not stab myself in the finger, that'd be a good idea. Just gotta be careful that you don't accidentally scrape off one of the pads completely or break it or something. Because if you get under the edge of it and pop it, you can inadvertently take it off the board. All right, let's see if that helps. on there 
and see if I can add some solder to it. So you can see where there's like the gold still there the solder flows on it really easily but none of those two pads I guess that's about as good as I'm gonna get that. I might come back to it when I get the fiberglass pens and see if that helps. Now, as long as a new capacitor stick to it, it should be all right. I'm going to try to go a bit further back here.
Actually, I don't know. Does that work? Can I do uh, that on here? Does it only do the first one? No, no, it does the first one. Let's change that. There we go. That works. Yeah, I need to set up my macros again because that is not where it needs to be. Uh, let's go. That's not the right size. That's awesome. There we go. Like that a little bit bigger see the overhead and see that too. Yeah, I'm using the pen as a stand. I need to make a base for this so that everything sits kind of flat on it. Anything even sticking to those? Not really. And those did marginally better. Nothing is sticking to that one. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for my deoxid. Let me get this off of here. See if the deoxid helps because I have like flux remover and uh, extra strength contact cleaner, but it seems to not be working as well as I thought it should. And nice loose connection there. Yeah, there's not much else I can do for those right this second. 
other than clean them off. I guess I could use like a little bit of Brasso or something like that maybe to polish them up. So I'm going to try that. I think I have some upstairs. But I'll work on that later. The other ones, I just, I'm just going to clean them up with some alcohol. So that they're at least, hopefully, clean. All right, so let's move on. I'm not gonna remove these capacitors until I get the kit for the replacements, which should be here this week sometime, hopefully. Hopefully shipping stuff uh, is less problematic now that Christmas is over. These, uh, all of these caps need replaced and will get replaced. There's a, there's a bunch on here. Uh, I need to see if I can find a battery mod for this. Rechargeable 3 volt. This is apparently used for save states on here. Which I think if you have. Uh, Uh, crap, the, the one EverDrive, that's what replaces, you use that as a save state holder instead of uh, the onboard on here. And then this is the controller card for the CD-ROM drive, which I think I might have ordered the wrong, <laughs> wrong capacitor set because it was between JVC and Sony, I saw that this is Sony on the controller board, but the actual transport mechanism is, there we go, uh, this part right here is JVC. So I don't know if the kit that I have will work. I'll just have to compare the capacitors that I get with it and make sure that they fit. Um, what else? That's really it. Uh, I'll be getting this done. So hopefully I get those capacitors soon. I'll have to check my shipping information. Because once I get this done, then I'm gonna do the full, uh, full mod of the Dreamcast, which is over in the other room. And that involves new case, uh, GDEMU, uh, DC HDMI mod, recapping, all that stuff, new power supply. So that should be interesting. This is kind of just a practice towards that end. So. All right.